everyone! In this video you can see another experiment with four different brands of white pigment paste for the flower technique. As you all know, I love the holographic effect, so this time I'm going to use a holographic hexagon coaster mold and I'm also going to use a different resin with a shorter working time. So I hope you will enjoy watching my experiment and will give me a thumbs up for this video. So I already started pouring a thin layer of resin into my hexagon silicon mold and what I already mentioned this silicon mold has already the holographic effect in it. For the resin I'm using the Craft resin, it's a low viscosity resin with a working time of 35 minutes. So before I'm going to add the flower technique on top of the alcohol in colors, I don't have to wait that long. I'm going to wait for about 20 minutes and then I'm going to use four different brands of white pigment paste, but yeah. First I need to uh, add the alcohol in colors on top of this uh, resin. So I'm using my heat gun to remove air bubbles, but I'm also using my embossing tool to remove the air bubbles that are against the side of the silicon mold. In the center I'm using some really pretty Glitter, and this is the glitter from Glitter Queen. It's from a small Dutch company, and this is the color. I hope I pronounced it the right way, but it's called Majestic. It's also a holographic glitter, and I also mixed in some real pyrite crystals. I think that will look nice. So only a little bit in the center of each coaster. And you only need a thin layer of resin to uh, make a beautiful flower. So you don't need a lot. And after this is all dry, I'm going to fill the mold totally to the top. So the first color I'm using is from Etter Arts from a German company and this color is called uh, Elderberry. Nice purple color, only one drop in the center. And then around it I'm using a Ranger alcohol ink and this is the color Pearl Splendor. Four drops, there you can see it. Nice orange color. And you can already see the pearl effect of this alcohol ink. And if you are interested in the craft resin, low viscosity resin, then the link is in the description below this video. I've added three links. One for Europe, one for the UK and one for the USA. And if you order through that link, then you will get 5% discount, so that's great. So the third color is also from Etter Art, and this color is called Grape Purple. Also, four drops. And then I will leave this for 20 minutes, and after 20 minutes I will add the white pigment paste. So we are 20 minutes later and the first white pigment paste that I'm going to use is from Just Resin, the Titanium White. And in my previous video I added the white with a dotting tool. Now I've added it into a piping bag. There you can see it. And what I need to mention when I mixed the resin... I also mixed this uh, white paste already in the resin. So I think in total 
it was in their paper cups for about 25 minutes so it's already uh, thicker so the second color uh, that I'm using is from Color Passion it's their base cell white I also used it in my previous video but I want to see if the Just Resin Titanium White also works in the flower technique but also the craft resin because yeah what I already mentioned in my previous video we don't use the same resin so for the people that use the craft resin uh, I want to see if I uh, can make a nice flower with the white paste in the craft resin low viscosity and the third white paste is a test as you all know I want to add a uh, pigment paste to my just paint line so that's why I'm testing two different white pigment pastes but I want to see if they work also uh, in the low viscosity resin from craft resin and this silicon mold that I'm using the holographic hexagon silicon mold is from molds and shapes the link is in the description below this video and I love their holographic uh, molds and if you use my code JustPaint5 you will get 5% discount on their website so that's also very nice the fourth color is also a test so I'm very curious if I can create a nice bloom effect with these white pigment pastes but important is that you don't add too much white paste in your uh, resin because if you add too much then the color will sink to the bottom and then you will get the white dots and also the waiting time is important before you're going to add the flower design and also Julie from pouring your heart out um, gave me a suggestion to use a medium viscosity resin and to wait until the resin is about 40 degrees so I will also going to test that in one of my upcoming videos so thank you so much Julie, uh, Julie for your uh, suggestion I appreciate it a lot so now I'm going to make some lines with my dotting tool to create hopefully some uh, nice flower petals so from the outside to the inside there you can see it I'm not touching the bottom of my silicon mold and you can see the uh, pearl effect of the ranger ink so hopefully I can create a nice center with that pearl alcohol ink so all the supplies I'm using in this video you can find at the end of the video but also in the description below this video and I always add the link to the websites so if you are curious please check out the description below this video And the last coaster. And I can already see that the white is starting to bloom. So that means it spreads to the outside. And also from the inside to the outside, only in the purple color. Now you can see it.
and at the end we can see the differences between the coasters but I think you can use um, all brands of white pigment paste I think all brands will work for the flower technique I, I think it's more important how much white paste you add into your resin and how long you wait before you add the flower design but yeah we can find that out at the end of the video because if I'm right then there should not be a lot of difference between the white uh, uh, pigment pastes so now I'm going to add heat with my embossing tool to remove air bubbles but also to create that bloom effect by uh, hopefully spreading those white lines with the heat I'm going to swirl the center, there you can see it. Again, I'm not touching the bottom because also in the center I, I've added uh, the glitter with the real pyrite crystals. Again, some heat. And what I mentioned, I really love the holographic effect, especially in the round uh, coaster mold, because that has a different holographic effect than in this holographic, uh, uh, in this hexagon coaster mold, but also pretty. So I'm done with this layer, I will let this dry and then I will take them out of the mold. Yeah, we are one hour later and I really wanted to show you how they look after one hour of drying. I can already see that the white has spread. Hopefully you can also see it. I love the center with the pearl effect. And I don't think what I can see now, I have those white dots. There you can see the white and the really nice colors. So if you are interested in that resin ink from Etter Art, also the link to her website is in the description. And don't forget I have a promo code for her website. If you use my code Petra Tenyan, then you will get 10% discount. Yeah, I have several promo codes now. They are all in the description below this video and the, there are some great discounts so check out the description box. But what I can see now there is not a lot of difference between the white paste. They all look the same so that's promising because that means that you can use any brand of white pigment paste and I also don't think that it has to do with the brand of alcohol ink you are using but yeah I will let this dry for 24 hours and then I will take them out of the mold So we are 24 hours later, what I didn't show you, that I filled the mold with a clear layer of resin all the way to the top and now it's dry and I can take the coasters out of the silicon mold. I don't have a problem with that because I don't use a torch. The flame of the torch is very hot and then there is a risk that the resin will stick to the silicon and then you will damage your mold. So I don't use a torch so again the top left is the just resin on the right is the color passion and the two below are my test white pigment pastes but they look great I love this side and the white has spread so nice 
The other side, very pretty. No white dots, so that's really nice. And now the color passion, white paste, it looks the same on this side, so no differences. Now the other side, and also this looks very pretty. So what I can see now is that there are on both sides no major differences. So you can use any white brand of pigment paste. This is my test white paste. Also that one is very pretty. So what I already thought you can use any white pigment paste you have. It all has to do with how much you add and how long you wait before you add the flower design. So my next test will be uh, what Julie suggested to wait for until the resin is 40 degrees. So this is the end result, this is the side how I poured it, so from left to right the uh, Just Resin Color Passion and the two test white pigment paste and as you can see there is no difference. They all look beautiful and they look the same. I love the pearl effect in the center on this side. So a little bit closer. And you can also use the craft resin for the flower technique. And the advantage of this resin is that you don't have to wait that long before you add the flower technique. I, add, I waited 20 minutes. But if you have a resin that has a longer working time, then you need to wait much longer to create this effect. But I love this side. You can already see the holographic effect. And I get a lot of questions how I make the holographic effect, but it's already in the silicon mold. So now the other side. Very pretty. I love the center with that holographic glitter from Glitter Queen. And I also added some really small pieces of real pyrite crystals. But as you can see also on this side, no differences. They all look very nice. And also I'm very pleased that my test uh, pigment pastes also work for the flower technique. This is the first test paste and this is the second one. And yeah, a little bit closer. Very pretty. And this is the one from Color Passion. Also, that white pigment paste worked. And the last one is from Just Resin. So for the people that have the Color Passion paste or the Just Resin paste, it works. So no problems. So I hope you enjoyed watching my video. And hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.